Hello and be welcome to another episode of Let's Develop with Maven in Eclipse. In the last episode I talked about how you can deploy your Maven artifacts to a GitHub repository. In this episode I'm going to talk about how you can actually combine that with Maven releases. Because I realized some property of this deployment to uh, GitHub repositories that actually makes using it as a release repository a little more difficult. So in general, the idea of deploying artifacts via the site Maven plugin of GitHub to GitHub repository uh, extends to releases quite easily. So in fact, the only thing you have to do is copy this uh, intermediate staging URL up here to your release repository configuration in the, distribution, in the distribution management and you're done. Because during the release phase, uh, Maven will execute the default lifecycle and with that, the deployment phase uh, to actually upload the release artifacts uh, to some, um, yeah, first to your staging directory, which we just configured, and then to uh, your Maven GitHub repository. The problem is, if I now look at uh, exactly this repository here, um, I see that I have quite a number of snapshots uh, already deployed to that repository. The problem is, let me just quickly switch up here, that if I deploy now, um, if I now clean my target directory, so essentially run a Maven clean and then deploy again, let me quickly do that. Um, blah, 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 creating 12 blobs, uploading them. And then I refresh over here, go in here again. I see there's only um, one version left. And this is because the site Maven plugin actually deletes all the present files and only commits the new ones uh, whenever we deploy to the repository. This is quite fine for Maven sites because I usually want to completely override the old version and place the new version. This is also fine, I think, for snapshot repositories because usually it's sufficient if the newest snapshot version is available, but it's not nice for release repositories because usually only because you do a new release, um, you don't necessarily want the, all the old releases to become unavailable. So what I think is the best way of solving that is actually using tags for your commits. So instead of committing your changes to refs heads master, I would propose committing them to refs tags project version. Oops, sorry, let me correct that. Uh, refs tags project version which will essentially create a tag 002 snapshot in this case, or for the release then 002, and commit your release artifact files or development version artifact files to exactly that tag, which means they will stay available for all future uh, to refer to by this tag ID. So if I now deploy this, Blah, 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 uploading, creating blobs. Um, this time it's, it's more files because it didn't clean up. Um, and then go over here. I can see that it actually created a tag, which is 002 snapshot. And within that, I actually have now the, the files. And if I do that with a release, I would here have here a tag 002 in the repository. And I could alf always refer to that. Um, Actually, the, the last bit of information I want to share is how you actually reference that. As you right, might remember from the last episode, um, there was this special syntax to refer to uh, my repository on GitHub, this Maven repo repository and the master branch. I can actually refer to the tag simply by saying, uh, stating the tag's name. So 002 snapshot. Um, and this works. 
the problem I see with this kind of configuration is that now I have the 002 snapshot here and at the same time up here. So I have the version configured twice and whenever I want to switch versions, I have to update both uh, locations. What I can do in order to resolve that problem is create a property in my Maven file, say, uh, um, let's developer.gameloop.version, say this is 002 snapshot, and then use that version both, uh, that, that property both here, let's developer game loop version at that place and down here which means that now I have to change the version only in the property and would, it will already um, refer to the right tag and use the correct um, version in the dependency. Okay, that's already everything I wanted to share with you about how you can use deployment to GitHub repositories for Maven releases. I think that's a pretty, pretty much working idea. Um, if you try that out, if you actually use that in practice, practice, it would be great if you could share your experiences with me, uh, how well that works, because I actually never tried that out for real in a project. Um, yeah, if you like the episode, give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment, send me a message, let me know what you think, and I hope to see you next time.